and number two just arrived. She didn't have any issues with that second one. I'm only cleaning this one's face because she's still focused on that first twin. I'm gonna let her finish cleaning those up. Well, while mama's finishing cleaning that up, let me show you what else we found this morning. Now this is actually Monday morning. I got some filming in yesterday, Sunday. The kids have been coming pretty fast and furious. It's hard to keep up with all the video. So I mean, I'm gonna, uh, so I'll get the weights and the sexes of everything. Uh, and I'll post that, uh, I think, in tomorrow's video. Uh, maybe I'll do a tally at the end of this one. We'll see how that goes. Well, let me show you what else we found. Again, this is Monday morning. I'll show you uh, what we found yesterday morning towards the end of this video, but I'll point out some of the things that we did have yesterday. These were a couple of days ago. I'll show you those here in a second. Here we've got a couple of brand new twins. And they look like they're doing fine. Let's see what else we've got out here. Here's another set of freshly born twins. You can see they're still wet. And they're up and doing good. This is an old hat mom here. She knows what's going on. Now here's a little single that was born. And consequently, that doe that I just showed you with twins, this is her daughter from last year. So now she's a grandma here on the farm. Now this doe's uh, fairly young, so with her having a single, I'm certainly not hating at all. I'm happy that she's doing good and it looks like the baby's doing good as well. These, of course, are the twins that were born in December. Here are the triplets and with their mom. Now, one of my subscribers, Miss Virginia Reed, asked about mom the last time I showed a video. So, Miss Virginia, here you go. They're with mom, they're doing good. They're all working on that breakfast this morning. I'm going to turn these guys loose in a little bit. Kind of hard to see in the morning sun. Here's the two babies out of the tub. These were the two twins that were born at the end of the last video when my camera battery died and I had to resort to my cell phone and it died too right before I got a chance to take a picture. And this is mom. Now right next to her is her mom and she is an old hat but I'm going to show you why we've got her in the tub. We have one, two, three. Four.
So although she's an old hat at having kids, she always has triplets. Even as a first timer, she had triplets, but this is her first year having quads. So I'm gonna keep them in the tub just to make sure that she can handle them all and they're all doing well. There were three boys and one little girl in that group. And the little girl's just a little over three pounds. The boys were all at five pounds. Um, I did the math all together. She had 20 pounds, five ounces of kids. That's a lot of babies for one goat to carry. So we're gonna keep an eye on those, make sure that little girl's doing well. And I've never had to, but in case we have to supplement milk, it'll be easy to, it'll be easier to keep her under observation uh, here in the tub, just to make sure they're still doing fine. I showed you the one daughter that just uh, had twins, that is that red doe. I've showed you now the mom. Let me show you the other daughter. Now those are sisters, but they're a different age group. These were Sunday babies right here, Sunday twins. But she's certainly an old hat at having kids too. This is her second year. And of course she was a triplet. And then her sister was a triplet. So we've always kept the girls out of that breeding. We like the way that doe looks. We like how the daughters are growing up. And they always give us nice big kids. Let me go around and see if I can get her twin. Here's the babies. And this is a little boy and a little girl. Now I'm gonna point out these guys actually aren't in a tub. I had a friend of mine, you guys have heard me talk about him before, Mr. Wayne Sims. He suggested that uh, we create kind of little individual stalls with all the kids we're having. Sometimes these moms get kind of aggressive or protective. What we did here was put a fence up, a gate up, just to just to divide the barn. And then I uh, wired tied a couple of pallets to that. So that gives us a stall here, stall here. Here's an entryway. And of course the whole back of the barn. So it's not tubs. It's just a way for the mamas to have a little bit of privacy. Now this mama, we did kind of create a tub here. I'm getting ready to turn her loose. She had babies uh, late last night. But that little blue one is a girl, and the little black one is a boy. But she's also an old hat at having kids. We've got her twin daughters in the yearling pen. This is actually my son's goat. And you can see babies a little bit better. We released them from the tub. Checking out the new arrivals, getting their scents, making sure they're part of the herd. And this mom's still doing good. Again, she's not in a tub. This is just kind of an alleyway, just a way for the mama goats to feel secure and kind of have a little bit of alone time. I think it was kind of exciting for you guys to be able to actually see some being born. Now, hopefully you've enjoyed this little update. I've got some kids to weigh, some sexes to get, make sure everyone's doing okay. 
but I appreciate you and I'll see you next video.